confusion with the image. Best diagnosis for this 58-year-old with mental status changes. Would you say that this is most likely encephalitis, an embolic stroke, Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, hypoglycemia, or hepatic encephalopathy? Let's get the uh, timer going. Again, best diagnosis I'm showing in the diffusion wave scan. You can start the timer. Would that be encephalitis? embolic strokes, CJD, hypoglycemia, or hepatic encephalopathy. And we'll see what the audience replied. So once again, the most common answer is the Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. Indeed, that is the correct case. And this is uh, just to reemphasize that the diffusion wave scan is going to be the most sensitive pulse sequence that we have for the detection of Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease relatively subtle on the flare scan. Okay, so I just gave it away. <laughs> the most sensitive finding is going to be high diffusion wave imaging see, signal seen in the, in the cortex. Although, as most of you are probably aware, seeing high signal intensity both on the flare as well as the diffusion wave scan in the basal ganglia is relatively common as well in patients who have Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. The other thing that we would look at is involvement of the uh, thalamus and, and pulvinar region or um, of the thalamus because that is a pattern that is sometimes seen with our sporadic CJD variety. Again, diffusion wave scan showing high signal intensity in the caudate nuclei bilaterally as well as within the putamen bilaterally. CJD, as you know, is caused by a prion. It's one of these now family of diseases that includes your bovine spongiform encephalitis. It's rapidly progressive leads to dementia, gait disturbance, myoclonus, and ultimately death. We don't really have very good treatment really to offer patients with CJD. The variant form is the one that's linked to the bovine spongiform encephalopathy, uh, so-called mad cow disease uh, transmitted to humans. And in those individuals, we see high signal intensity within the thalamic pulvinar as the most common finding but you may see it elsewhere within the basal ganglia. And as you can see, this is now a whole family of diseases which include this uh, Kuru, your familial family, familial insomnia, et cetera, and the vacuolization that's seen histopathologically is the feature. The sensitivity of diffusion wave imaging has been reported in uh, last year's AJNR as being more sensitive than flare scan. So this is one of the uh, patient populations that you want to make sure that you are doing DWI scanning with ADC mapping because it is true cytotoxic edema and restriction of ADC as opposed to just T2 shine through. And the high signal intensity in the cortex, as you can see, is occurring at a very high rate. Deep gray matter alone in only 5%. The cortical involvement may be throughout the brain or may be limited to the frontal regions, the limbic areas, or parietal, and thalamic involvement in only 34% of the non-sporadic CJD. Okay, we'll move to the fifth case. This is a young individual who had confusion as well as weakness after a viral illness. You're seeing the flare scan on the left and a T2-weighted scan on the right. 